Hi, honeys. How's your day going so far? Mine is going fine. Okay, this is a quick health update. Okay, those of you all who have been following me know at one while I was trying to get some medicine for my diabetes. Okay, I was pre previously given metformin, the regular metformin, and I already knew I couldn't take it. And the doctor knew that. So I was trying to get the metformin ER, that's the extended release. Because uh, my sister on YouTube, Lynette Longmire, she told me that's what agrees with her, the metformin ER. So the doctor finally prescribed that for me. I've been taking that for about a week now. I love it. No problems. Last night I took my blood sugar and it was 112. And I ain't seen no reading like that in many, many, many moons. Very good. Okay. Thank you, Lynette. Okay, now to this. Oh, I take it after I take one 500 milligram metformin ER after I've eaten a nice sized meal. I just take it once a day. Doing me fine, y'all. Because I wasn't about that other life. Taking that other metformin. Y'all know how metformin does, people. I ain't about that life. Uh-uh. No. So, okay. If your metformin don't agree with you, ask for the ER. Extended release. Time release. It's a big pill. And they tell you don't cut it or anything. Just swallow it the whole pill. Okay, now. Y'all been following me. You know I've had uh, MRI. I've had biopsies, MRI, the mammogram, and all that. And they found a suspicious lump. So, then they did the MRI. They found a suspicious lump from the mammogram. Then they told me to get a biopsy. So I got that. And it turned out to be cancerous. Okay. So then I had to get a MRI of that lump. And they found another one. So this Wednesday I'm supposed to go, next Wednesday I'm supposed to go and get another MRI and a biopsy. But I talked to my oncologist. She, she, oh, they know what's going on? She let me know what was going on. And um, she was telling me my options. Uh, of course, I don't know why people think mastectomy, mastectomy is the first choice. Uh-uh, no. It goes from a lumpectomy to a mastectomy, however you say it. Uh-uh. So I told her I would call her the next day. I had to talk to my people. So I talked to Walter and some of my daughters. Trying to figure out what to do, which way to go. So my oldest daughter came up with, why don't I just go on and get another biopsy of this new lump they found and take it from there okay so today I met with my surgeon and I was hoping he'd be nice he was very nice very knowledgeable and I feel comfortable with him so my my uh, MRI and biopsy is scheduled for Wednesday and it's very important for women to get tested, get checked, get your, get your uh, mammograms. Because the lump I have, it couldn't have been felt. Can't feel nothing. And the second lump they found, the mammogram didn't pick it up. And the biopsy didn't pick it up. Only through having an MRI that they found it. So 
So you need to get checked and have all these suspicious spots checked out before they turn into something, you know, that can't be helped, you know. So I want to thank you for going on this journey with me and I just want to give you an update on what's going on. I want to thank you all for your prayers. I'm still needing your prayers. And I mean, I have a calmness. You know, in the Bible, it says something about um, uh, getting that peace that passes all understanding. I don't know why I'm so calm. I mean, some people may be freaking all out and all that news like this and keep getting bad news after bad news. But maybe what I'm going through will help somebody else to go through it. The biopsy didn't hurt. Some of y'all scared. It, it didn't hurt. Of course, the MRI don't hurt. <laughs> As a matter of fact, the mammogram is more uncomfortable than anything else, in my opinion. And always at the back of my mind, I'd be thinking, what if the power goes off while I'm trapped in this boob tube thing? Can't get out. But anyway, y'all know I got a wry sense of humor. <laughs> so, get checked, y'all. If you feel something, and a lot of times you don't feel nothing, like I've never felt a lump anywhere. You may not feel nothing. You may have something tiny. You don't want it to keep growing until it gets to be, you know, gets to spreading. You know, then doctors can't do nothing about it. So get checked. All right? Get your regular checkups. So thanks for watching. Give me a thumbs up. Leave a nice comment. Thank you for the prayers. And keep praying. Thank you. Bye.